New at 10, at least one person is in police custody following a brawl near Redmond Park in Cedar Rapids. It started around 6.30 tonight. Witnesses say one person was hit in the head with a shovel and beaten to the ground. No word on that person's condition or just how many people face charges connected to this fight. The Wellington Heights neighborhood has been fighting its reputation as a crime-plagued neighborhood for years. Tonight, residents, business owners in the city came together to come up with a plan to try to improve the area. KCRG TV 9's Jill Caspery explains. I grew up in this house here. George Daoud grew up in Wellington Heights, two doors from his aunt and down the alley from school. Since I was 13 years old, and my mom and dad still lives here. He likes that things have stayed the same over the decades, but he's open to changes that will improve the neighborhood. Oh, it's 19th and 3rd. 19th and 3rd. That was the topic of the night at a meeting held at St. Paul's United Methodist Church. The city of Cedar Rapids organized the event to draft a Wellington Heights neighborhood plan. That's something that the city will use as a tool going forward as we consider future policy and investment in the neighborhood. Neighbors took turns pointing out the issues. They're just like the worst rental properties in town. And indicating problem areas with colored dots. We'll just put one of every kind of dot around Redmond Park. It's, it's always <laughs> trash filled. It's always dirty. There are drug deals that go down there. It's um, so nobody wants to send their kids down there to play. Participants also pointed out things they appreciate, like the architecture and the schools. In the end, neighbors say they're ready to see progress once this plan is complete. I hope we have some wonderful ideas, uh, which I think we do, and I hope that the city and the planning people pay attention. All of the work and the feedback from tonight's meeting will be used to make up the neighborhood plan. Now, if you're interested in getting involved, you still can. Two more meetings will be held tomorrow at the same place, St. Paul's United Methodist Church from 12 to 2, and then again from 6 until 8. And Beth, the city does plan to have that whole plan done by the end of May, so kind of a short deadline there. Yeah, all right. Thanks so much, Jill.